Oh, hello. So <clears throat> when I first started teaching, I remember I had a classroom that um, it had a file cabinet in it. And it was an older file cabinet. And on the file cabinet, there was a bumper sticker that just said, kids count. And at that time, I remember thinking, by the time they get to high school, I certainly hope they can. Anyway, I think the point of the bumper sticker was that, that kids are important and that kids do count. So over the weekend, I had this idea. Now, people who know me, when I say, oh my gosh, I have this idea, it's kind of like a, uh-oh, <laughs> it could go badly or it could go really well. So here's my idea. I just want one video <clears throat> to go out there and I just want to see how many students are out there that have a memory. So I, that's it. There's my idea. I think it's, I wanted to call it a great social experiment, but it just might be a mediocre <laughs> social experiment, a social experiment gone floppily. <laughs> anyway, um, so let's try it. So here's what I was thinking. I was a teacher from 1991 to 2000, which is, yeah. And um, so let's just expect the unexpected, yeah? So here's, here's what I was thinking. Here's my notes, kind of. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, let, teachers can count, too. <laughs> so let's see. This is just a count. This is like high school data collecting, shall we call it, which is, it's not going to be scientific, but let's just throw it out there. Let's just see. So number one, I just want to see how many are out there who actually can have a memory, just can relate. Um, so if you do, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel and then just post something. And here's the thing. Make it really short. Um, if you want to email me, again, I'll give you my email at the end of this. Email me if, if, you, if you want to continue. But just for this, keep it short. For example, <laughs> Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, that's all you had to say. And I knew exactly the lesson I can see the classroom I see the whole class uh, philosophy Christmas party maybe uh, volleyball coach <laughs> field trip to Italy so just you know keep it short like I said um, and then spread the word let's let's just make this a really good social experiment mediocre uh, spread the word take it take it outside remember who's in our class um, see if you can get in contact with people in our class and just say hey do you remember Newson's class check this out just just share memory because this isn't and this is not about me I promise I, I don't want to be in the spotlight I've never wanted to be I don't want to be in the spotlight but I just think this is too important so I just wanted to try this let's just see how many you know, throw the net out. Let's see the impact, the ripple effect that even just one very, not very known teacher has on, on students. So anyway, let's give it a try, shall we? Um, and then third is, uh, let's practice roadhouse rules. I've already had some students concerned, like, Miss Newson, I, you know, I don't want people to say bad stuff. There's a lot of trolls out there. Well, be nice. There's an excellent, okay, mediocre 1989 movie with Patrick Swayze called Roadhouse and he has some roadhouse rules and the biggest rule number three is be nice so just be nice I don't I don't care if you compliment me I'm not in for an ego boost I don't need that I have enough accolades I don't I don't need any more but what I'm saying is I let's just see the impact so be nice um I know it's I know it's not personal <laughs> but you don't have to be mean and actually now that I think about it if some of you little toads do want to post something really nasty I guess my first thought is well it still had an impact okay um, I no longer have a school email address so uh, if you want to just personally email me Again, my email is hotplate7 at yahoo.com. Hotplate7, the number 7. I'll explain that 
another day. And then uh, I also have another one called uh, Ingrid Store, all lowercase, Ingrid, S-T-O-R, no E, at gmail.com. And so if you just want to send a personal note, I'd love to hear from you. And um, much more to come. See ya. Okay, one last thing. I... Okay, I'm keeping that in. <laughs> one, la- one last thing is that it, it just occurred to me that there's uh, there are some people in, in my life through education that I never actually had as students that, you know, let's cast this net a little bit wider. Uh, I've, I've talked to so many parents, uh, siblings that never had me as a teacher, but we've had one-on-one conversations, um, uh, colleagues, just just if there's a personal experience about education. So um, I just wanted to cast my net a little bit wider. So bye.